Hello, my name is Dr. Webb, and I'm one of the professors teaching business communication at University of West Georgia. I wanted to talk to you about the team project that you're going to be encountering in this course. This team project is based on you and, T and a team presenting to a department or organization on campus recommendations on how they can make their communication within their department or organization more efficient, more effective, and, um, and get students more interested in either joining the organization or uh, seeking services at the different departments. So what you're going to do, first of all, is you're going to be put into a group of team members, and you're going to be coming up with a consulting company name and um, thinking about a different organization or department on campus that you're going to help strengthen their communication. So you're going to um, think about the different departments on campus and your professor will give you a list of organizations and departments so you and your team can determine which one you want to select. Once you do that, you're going to need to come up with a logo and an address for your consulting company and that will be explained to you in a course done class. When you're developing your recommendations proposal and thinking about your presentation, you're going to be um, looking at a department on campus, or it could be a student organization. <clears throat> it can't be an organization, though, that you are in an executive position. So if someone on your team holds a role within that organization, a student organization, then you need to select a different organization. However, if you are working in a certain department on campus or you're a member of an organization on campus, then it's fine for you to select that particular department or organization for your team project. But you'll need to come to a consensus on what department or organization you and your team plan to have. Um, once you determine that, you'll be able to move forward. So now because you're in an online class, what you're going to do is you're actually going to be creating a video presentation that will have that your department or organization will look at as well as the classmates that you have in your class. So you want to first of all because you're going to be presenting to <clears throat> your department and organiza or organization in a video presentation, you need to make sure you know who your audience is. And we're going to talk more about that in business communication uh, through the different chapters in MH Connect. But for the purpose of this team project, you want to make sure that you visit the department or organization's office or location. Possibly you might be able to attend some meetings or an event if it's a student organization. <clears throat> you might want to speak with individuals involved in the department or organization. You can look up any background information on Google or any other site, maybe the university website. You want to think about how long they've been established, what their mission or goals are. And you want to make sure that your proposal and presentation are appealing to that department or organization and that they know that it's all to benefit them. So that's the idea of what's in it for me. So in this project, you're going to have a recommendations proposal you'll be doing as a team. You'll be coming up with a professional presentation video. You'll be using PowerPoint 2013 and using a special app called Office Mix, which we'll be explaining more to you uh, in this course. You're going to have some team meetings where you'll have to create agendas and minutes. You're going to be participating by responding to the presentation videos that will be on YouTube. You'll also be completing a peer review for each of the teams as your participation grade. And you'll be completing an overall team project survey as well as critiquing the video of your team presentation and looking at your strengths and weaknesses. So I'm going to move forward so that you can see the different sections of the team project. When companies are looking for help or looking for support or looking for a job to be done, they usually come out with something called a request for, for proposal, which is also known as an RFP. And just like this project is um, your consulting company trying to bid a job, you need to go through and, and file an RFP or a request for proposal. And this is the overview of the request for proposal. So the Student Affairs Department or Student Organization 
plans to revamp their communications with their various publics, including students, members, employees, suppliers, vendors, shareholders, community, and so on. The three areas in need of analysis and recommendations include the department organ or organization's image or improvement, increased external communication, and increased student involvement, such as activities, events, community projects, fundraising. In order to provide services to the students at the University of West Georgia Department or give students an opportunity to get involved in our student-based organization for gaining leadership and resume building skills, which would be the organization, we are seeking ways to improve how we communicate with our intended audiences. As a result, without improvement in these three areas mentioned above, we may not be able to continue to provide valuable benefits and rewards to our stakeholders. Some areas we would like to develop and improve our communications for include professional developing networks or professional development opportunities, industry networking for students and businesses, developing ties to national, professional, or student-based organizations and the community, being charitable nationally, locally, and regionally, um, Award recognition for members or students that benefit from various services, maybe scholarships, contests, and so on, and partnerships between the community, higher education, and industry. Your assistance in recommending strategies to assist in our communications process is vital. We are in the process of accepting recommendations in the form of a propo proposal in an effort to address these important concerns and aspects of our department or organization. The proposal should contain a minimum of six recommendations, two recommendations in each of the three areas listed above in bold. The consulting team with the best solutions and recommendations will act as consultants to our department or organization for an annual term. This RFP sets forth the terms and requirements of the proposal, which is to be designed to recommend and support changes in our strategic communications. Please have your consulting team can submit the proposal no later than the deadline provided on the course syllabus. So what you're going to need to uh, what the organization or department is looking for in the proposal is to include a cover page, letter transmittal, a table of contents, an executive summary, a statement of need, background of the consulting team, internal and external communications, which would be those three areas that were in bold, organization image, membership or student exposure development, or external communications to strengthen student involvement, recommendations, uh, optional budget section, and a conclusion. And the presentation is 15 minutes with five minutes of question and answer. It's going to be in the form of a PowerPoint using our, um, Office Mix which is what I'm using right now, actually. The presentation details, you'll need to include these five different sections, the introduction of the consulting team, the statement of need, the inter uh, current internal and external communications, the recommendations and conclusion. Um, all the presenters must take an active role. And with the handout, because of the fact that this is an online class, you will not need to include this. So you'll be actually submitting your presentation directly online going through Google, um, Google Drive or, or Google Docs or Google Drive.